Hi, my name is Michael Becker, and welcome to today's installment of the M Cordis Mobile Insights. And with me today is Perry Drake, the Assistant Teaching Professor of Digital and Social Media Marketing at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. So, Perry, welcome. Thank you very much for attending. Hey, thank you, Michael. I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. So Perry and I got to meet each other a few years back when Perry started to organize a series of thought leadership activities in and around the University, uh, the university of Missouri St. Louis campus. And this year, he is, it's, is it your third year, Perry? This is our fourth, actually. Fourth year. So yeah. Perry, is, is, in his fourth year, has launched the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference, which brings literally hundreds of uh, senior marketers and executives uh, from within the uh, Missouri St. Louis region, uh, but really from all across the country now as well. You're uh, four years in, and what we wanted to use this installment of today's uh, session was to talk to Perry a little bit about how, what was the impetus around starting the conference, uh, where he thinks, sees things happening, uh, and what key kind of messages uh, he thinks critical for uh, senior marketers and executives to be taking away from this event and bringing into their businesses today. So with that kind of introduction, Perry, please, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got started with all of this, and uh, let's start uh, understanding your event a little bit. Sure, sure. Thank you, Michael. So as, as Michael said, you know, this, this is my fourth year doing the event. Uh, we are actually moving off campus. Michael was there last year. We outgrew the conferencing facilities at the University of Missouri, so giving us the opportunity to go off campus to Union Station, which is kind of St. Louis's version of Grand Central Station in New York City. Um, we're expecting maybe close to about 900 individuals, again, within St. Louis and, and outside of the region. The, the, the whole premise of the conference kind of started three plus years ago when I came back to the University of Missouri at St. Louis to teach and wanted to kind of bring in some thought leaders from outside the St. Louis region to just have great deep discussions on innovation within the digital tech, social and innovation sort of space. Uh, the startup ecosystem here in St. Louis is pretty vast. So this year, in addition to that, I'm kind of pulling in the startup ecosystem a little bit and, and bringing in innovation into the discussion. So Michael, as you know, you know, the theme is innovation without borders. So it's really kind of focusing on where are we as marketers and communicators really kind of blazing the trail headed um, and, and in what direction. So again, we've got a lot of great thought leaders, including Michael, um, we've got Pandora coming, we've got BuzzFeed, Refinery29, Eloqua um, coming in, all talking in the data track, the digital track, the social media track, innovation tech track, and then of course there's an academic student and career track as well um, um, for, for students like learning how to you know, build a really strong LinkedIn profile. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm just really excited at the interest and in, in the attention that we're, we're getting at the conference this year and, and kind of taking it to that next level and have, having Michael there be one of the, the keynoters uh, to kind of carry that theme through of Innovation Without Borders and, again, working with the TED Society of having them facilitate the keynotes as well. Um, so I, I don't know if that kind of answers a little bit of the background. Yeah, it, it gets it started, but maybe we can start framing it a little bit for our sure. listeners today. So what, what's going on? First and foremost, what is marketing? What's its objective and goal? And how has that changed in the last decade? Oh, God. It's like, what, what, I guess, what isn't marketing today? Almost everything is marketing in a way. Um, even us is, is our right as our own personal brands. Um, you know, I guess marketing years ago was kind of, you know, kind of having that branding and that logo and, and pushing those messages out. Whereas today, it's almost like a 360 degree sort of an involvement with the consumer in, in every regard. I mean, Peyton, did you, I don't know if you saw the thing from Peyton Manning. I think he endorsed Budweiser uh, live on um, an interview, I think after the yeah, game. Yeah, after the game. He said, they, you know, I'm going to go drink a bunch of Bud. Yeah, and they said it was worth like $13.9 million to Budweiser for that particular endorsement. I mean, everything is just streamed and captured, and it's all about engaging the consumers and your fans where they want to talk about your brand out there, whether it be on social or, I guess, live live television. But I, I think marketing is, is, when I'm out there talking, I mean, marketing is, and you well know it, marketing has never been more complicated. It, it's so complicated to figure out how to deploy the right strategy, how to read the results. But yet, at the same time, it's never been more exciting. Um, you, know, you, know, you know, we're kind of seeing more and more students kind of 
going and gravitating towards kind of a marketing degree and, and curriculum. Um, whereas maybe 10 years ago, that necessarily wasn't the case. It was maybe more finance or accounting or, or international business, something along those lines. So I, I think marketing is really kind of reach the place where a lot of people want to be involved in that because it just involves so much the technology, the, 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 the content, the, 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 still the creative side of it, the messaging, you know, the, the, the whole thing. I, I don't know. I, I, I could go on and on, but hopefully that kind of answers that, Michael, I think. Yeah, so maybe, so maybe we can summarize it a bit though. So I see, you know, so you, you brought up just now with Peyton Manning's comment uh, on this idea of, you know, and uh, unpaid earned media. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Manning, just because clearly he enjoys a bud and wanted to go right, party right, with his right. friends drinking Budweiser, as yeah. I understand it, Budweiser has publicly come out and said they have not, they did not pay him to say That's that. That's right, they did. So yeah. That is pure, perfect, advocacy-based, right. loyalist, earned media. Absolutely. So clearly, yeah. earned media plays a role, and it can right. be very, very lucrative for our cost-effective for a brand when right. it happens properly. Right. Um, then, then you have this function of paid media, where we right. leverage other, you know, uh, other, others' own media to promote right. our services yeah. and solutions. Then yeah. we have own media, and then we have own communications. Um, and I, I, I'm presumably, marketing's function is to manage and coordinate the engagement and the interaction with an individual and or an audience across right. those horizons. Would yeah. you not agree with that? No, no, absolutely. I mean, that that's kind of the funnel. They all play a different role in kind of the customer journey. Uh, ab absolutely. And, it, and it's understanding those particular roles and, and the media that are involved in that. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. so at, at a certain level then, strategically marketing is about establishing that understanding of the individual, intimately understanding the individual or a set of, or an audience, a group of individuals right. and their journey as they navigate from being completely unaware of, with, of you to right. ultimately having the Manning moment, uh, right. you know, getting millions of dollars of earned media for just because the guy was excited and wanted to go hang out with his friends. Sure, sure. Um, so, you know, that's the, that's the spectrum. Um, and, are you organizing the event in any particular set of tracks or themes to untease and, and, and or tease out insights at each of those different le yeah, levels? And yeah, I, that's kind of what I'm in the process of doing right now, Michael. So I've got pretty much the 35 presenters there. Um, I guess 38 total if I count the three keynoters. Um, and so right now I'm in the process of speaking with each of those to kind of craft the story that I want to be kind of told throughout the day and to reveal the bits of information that I, I want to reveal. So I was just on the phone with Nielsen, Todd Budin of Nielsen, about an hour ago and just kind of confirming what are, what are we going to do there. So what, what he is going to really be doing is going back and looking at some of the studies they did with various brands over the past year and kind of come out with a digital strategies best practices based on some of those in-depth studies that they've done where basically, again, the audio, I mean, they're, they're doing, as you know, they're doing all sorts of stuff on mobile with audio watermarks and kind of following around the consumer and, and actually, I guess, listening to some of the background stuff that's kind of going on. Um, sorry, not, not necessarily my, my industry. Um, but kind of capturing that to understand, hey, you were exposed to this ad or that ad and you did go to Burger King and you were listening to it on the radio. And again, the mobile device is kind of capturing all that sort of info. So again, he's gonna talk a little bit about how they're using that technology to help kind of understand the consumer a little bit more. Um, obviously the data track is gonna be big as well and understanding how to glean the insights on, on data and attribution. Um, and, and things along those lines, which again, we still have a ways to go, but obviously getting a, a lot better at kind, of, at kind of doing that. So, I mean, the, the other thing that I'm really trying to bring in, Michael, is, as you know, is, is again, the innovation component, because again, I think it's critical that, that businesses need to kind of break the silos down, bring innovation, entrepreneurship into the conversation again. And I think, you know, when we kind of had our little meeting on, on the keynotes last week, you know, you kind of said it there at the end, you know, if you're not in nimble and quick to, to respond, you know, you're going to lose basically at the end of the day. And I think, you know, having silos up and, and, and things along those lines and not bringing in that innovative thinking is, is definitely a detriment to, you know, one's ability to be successful today. Um, so th that's a strong emphasis I'm, I'm kind of placing on as well. So. And, and, and in your mind, this is a unique event and one that would be in particular, especially for the marketers in this Midwest region, 
uh, important for them to attend and, and to not just get the insights, but also to meet their fellow marketers in the region, no? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think this is probably going to be one of the largest probably Midwest digital marketing events uh, anywhere. Again, bringing in close to total 900 people to talk about, innovate within, and, and, and share within this particular space. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. So. And where do people go if they want to learn more about the event? Uh, they can go to UMSL Digital UMSL, University of Missouri-St. Louis, UMSL, 